God, I love you so much. I love you too. Wait, you're not recording us on that thing, are you? As many of you know, I am an artist. Did you not just hear what I said? And being an artist is chaotic. Okay. What do you want from us? Tonight, I want you to prove something to me. Rule number one. You don't always slash canvas. You lost the game. <laughs> Say goodbye. Number two, always have fun. People love my work. I live to consume and destroy. You're Don. I love your show. I'm like your number one fan. Boom, there you go. That was the trailer for Dawn premiering on August 2nd from Uncourt <laughs> Entertainment. I am Kuya P. This is Nerds Rule the World. And as you see on the screen, I have some special guests, Jackie Moore and Jared Cohn. Thank you both for your time today. Thank oh, you. I love that in that energy, man. Is fucking it's awesome. Sorry, <laughs> no worries. I know how it is as actors, as press. You know, we got to do so much, and you got to just give that energy. And I think it comes in return. It's an energy exchange, right? So I uh, felt it, man. I felt hey. it. I love it. <laughs> thank you, Jared, and uh, thank you, Jackie. All right, for the both of you, uh, this is a wild ride. It's a wild Uber ride, to be to be precise. Uh, I had the pleasure of watching this film in advance. And uh, wow, fun times, crazy times. Uh, <laughs> how did this come your way? Let me start with you, Jackie. You're our lead. You're the you got the crazy eyes right behind me. Oh, tell me, tell me about stepping into Dawn. Well, I read the script, loved it, thought it was very unique. Thought this is a really cool opportunity. I knew it would be very challenging. It was a short, quick shoot, and we I had a lot to prepare dialogue-wise, obviously. Um, but, you know, I'm a big true crime fan. I love watching, you know, I, I think it's, like, interesting to see psychology of people. So uh, this movie, I felt like Dawn was just such a dark character, but also I wanted to understand her point of view and why she was doing this. So I felt like it was a really fun character to play and hopefully it came out well. We haven't seen the movie, Jared and oh, I. Oh, really? You both haven't seen it? No, we're the only oh ones. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> <laughs> we were in it. I guess you can never really enjoy a movie after you've been in it, but you know, yeah, we haven't seen it. I feel that, I feel that, I, yeah. Okay. Right. Awesome. I'm going to get back to you on that because I have some questions. Jared, uh, you know, sir, uh, without spoiling the movie, you know, this is centered on Dawn. She's kind of, you know, we we just showed the trailer. Um, you're in there and you're a bit of a, you know, you're a bit of an interesting customer, if you will, for this Uber ride. Um, you know, what would it like for you stepping into the, the ride, literally? I mean, the way I approached the character is you know i i relate to the the guy that i portray is he's an Amer he's an american guy that's trying to you know cap in a capitalist world trying to make money and you know i viewed him as someone you know who worked hard he's doing his bit deals his deals are not necessary look the ethics that he is as a person, I think are, I'm not, I don't believe him to be an evil person because he behaves like this. I just feel the world, I think it's actually, it, it, the world is forcing him to be, because to do these things because he wants to be successful and make money. And yes, does he come across as, uh, uh, 
you know, a kind of a, a, a rich dick, dicky type person. Yeah, but but I don't think that's that bad. People do a lot worse. They're you know he's bending the you know playing loose, loose, loose and fast, but making money. And 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 you know I don't view I don't think he's a bad person. I I I I just think he's you know that's the world he grew up in, and 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 now he's got to pay the price. You know now unfortunately you know he bumped into Dawn. Uh, and she's going to hold him accountable. Uh, mm -hmm. and that's what, that's what the movie is about. It's about a guy being held accountable. Uh, uh, and that's what she does. You know, she find Don is, is, is sort of being karma. Uh, but I don't think, I, 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 st I don't think my, my character, uh, was, was ill-intentioned. Is what I, you know, not maybe not the best guy, but not the worst guy. I feel that. I feel that. And, you know, that's why we go to these movies. Uh, it's escapist entertainment. We see this in society, in the world. And so in a way, when we make these movies and especially a film like this, where we can see uh, how it would trans uh, transplay in like a fictional type of atmosphere. Right. And how if we can see things right, it's wrongs or whatever. Um, or just kind of see how it would play differently uh, outside of reality. Um, so going back to you, Jackie, uh, you play this Dawn character that is good, evil, who knows? Um, it's <laughs> perceived in different ways. Um, but what was that like? Uh, you know, you, you stepped into this role, as you said. Um, is this the first time you've played a character like this and to kind of just go there? Um, was it like a release as an actor for you? I think Dawn is definitely the the most intense of the villain roles I've played. I again, I don't know if you're considering. I haven't seen the movie, so it's hard to say what what it comes off as. But mm -hmm. uh, I played a villain role in a Lifetime movie called Party from Hell, and she and I was murdering a lot of people in the film. <laughs> you know that character was a bit um, crazy, I would say. <laughs> so I, it's, not the, it's not the first time that I'd done another uh, film okay. where it was kind of like a fatal attraction type story and that's called You Can Never Go Home Again. Actually, it's so funny. I went to my sister's baby shower recently and, they were, and my aunt, you know, you, when you're first trying to be an actor, yeah. it's like, what have you done? What have you done? And then when you do enough of, <laughs> of these movies, your people start to be like, well, could you maybe not play like the murderer so much or the villain so much? I'm like, I'm just happy to work, you know, always yeah. have to take on a, a challenging role. No, I feel that. I feel that you definitely have the crazy eyes in this um, <laughs> very psycho ish type stuff going on. Um, mm -hmm. You delivered with all of that. You know, it, 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 it was interesting. It, it was a little scary, you know, um, some cool moments there. Um, my biggest thing was just trying to still like, and you brought this up earlier, the motivation. Um, I don't know if I totally picked that up, um, but uh, for me to you, uh, yeah. And the fans that are going to watch this and check out Dawn, what, what, what did you figure for yourself as your motivation in this? And I don't think that'll spoil too much. Well, it's kind of what Jared was saying is like, she feels that this is what she, she's taking it into her hands, like justice, like almost like a vigilante in her own way. You know, I think that she feels justified in uh, punishing people for their wrongs or, or their flaws. Gotcha. So just mm -hmm. kind of like a female punisher, if you will, um, as the nerd yeah. that I am over here. I love yeah. it. All right, Jackie, thank you. Jared, um, uh, again, this is kind of like a table flip. We normally see male actors in these kind of villainous roles, um, but this time it's Jackie playing the heavy. Uh, for you, was it difficult for you to kind of be small, play smaller to her, you know, bigger personality in this? No, I mean, I think it was, the script was really well written and that, you know, she had this car figured out, you know, she has, her you know, gun and, 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 you know, all these ways to lock us in and trap us. And, and she set it up really well. 
uh, you know, and that's a tribute to the writer uh, and Jackie for playing it. Uh, and it, you know, that, that works. I, I mean, for my job was it way, it way easier because I was just playing, you know, some, a, a, a guy, a normal version, you know, not a killer, you know, to, to play a killer, uh, and, you know, and to get justice and, and in the way she way did it, there was, it's a lot more complex, uh, of going on. I'm just trying to stay alive, uh, and not get killed. And, you know, so there was moments, you know, and, 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 and I, you know, I try, I didn't want to play him weak, you know, so I, I, I did want to, you know, be there to be some, you know, some conflict. So, you know, when I'm pleading or threat or trying to make threats or, 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 or whatever it is I'm doing, uh, you know, it's really just bouncing off what Jackie's, you know, what's, what, what's going on. You know, she's in, she's set the ground rules and I have to, uh, you know, abide. And, and, and if I don't, then, you know, there's plenty, you got to face the repercussion. Awesome. Well, you definitely held your own and I won't spoil the ending, but you, you held it all the way through to the end and, uh, you know, circumstances happen because of those reasons. So, uh, it, it was a wild ride. Um, outside of this, uh, concept wise, uh, I'm curious for you guys, if you both were presented, you know, traveling as actors as well, and, and you found yourself in the situation now that you've had this experience doing this film, what would you do? Jackie, you find yourself in this situation with a character similar to yourself. Are you calling another Uber? What are you doing? <laughs> are you ready to go to town? <laughs> Playing the game. Playing the game? You got to, you got to, you got to gain their trust. Okay. I think that it, it has to be like that because I feel like with someone like Dawn, she, if you fight back right away, it's not going to work. You need to like play into it a little bit. And yeah, that's kind of, you know, she's manipulating the passengers. You got to manipulate her right back. All right, Jared, how about you? Advice. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I would, it, you know, it would be interesting to play the game, but I would prefer, yeah, I mean, I got, I, I would not want to be face, <laughs> face to face with like my inner, you know, demons, because that's the thing about Dawn. She, she, she selects her targets and obviously researches the people she's planning to do this. So whatever dirt you may have that she fit, she's figured it out. So it's going to get ugly. And, and that's, and that's what makes a movie good is because, you know, it's a personal attack. Uh, and yeah, I would, I would, I, I would walk. Home. <laughs> well, yeah. Don't yeah yeah so i i think i feel like he would fight <laughs> i i think don is, is uh without spoiling you know the, is an amazing character there's a lot of uh story there that i think is still to be said um but everybody if you haven't seen it yet it's going to premiere on digital from uncorked entertainment on august 2nd um it's a ride. It's a ride. And maybe there could be more rides. And I could see you doing more of this, Jackie, you know, uh, you know, could be a franchise builder right here. Um, who knows? Um, but I think there's more stories to tell uh, from a, from my filmmaking standpoint. I think that there, there's more there that we could really get into. Um, but before we go again, August 2nd, Don will be there for everybody on Court Entertainment. But because I have you both here and I know you're still working, are there any other projects we can also just throw at the people and who want to check you guys out as well? Um, Jackie, back to you. Uh, check out Vendetta. Jared directed Vendetta. Uh, Bruce Willis, Thomas Jane, Mike Tyson. We've got Theo Rossi. We've got an incredible cast in that. And I'm, I'm in that film as well. Um We've got, I've got Out of Hand coming out, which is with Billy Baldwin and Louise Linton, which should be, it's cool. It's a real mystery thriller type movie. And I'm in that as well. So check them out. Check them awesome. Out. How can and, they follow you online? And, throw them huh? socials out there. The, oh. throw, yeah. And our, we did a movie called Atlantic Rim together. 
So that's kind of a, <laughs> it's on mystery science theater. Go check out, go check out episode of Atlantic Rim episode of mystery science theater. If awesome. you want a good, good, good laugh. <laughs> Excellent. What are your socials, Jackie? Uh, at Jackie double underscore more on Instagram. And I think it's more Jackie underscore on Twitter. I have a common name. So, you know, I had to do the underscore thing. Oh, no worries. I'll have it all in the description below y'all if in case you're awesome. driving while you're checking this out. So that'll be there as well. And Jared, what, what do you have coming up as well? Uh, Jackie already kind of stole some of that thunder. Uh, anything <laughs> else you want to talk about as well? No, no, I, you know, definitely check out Vendetta, uh, you know, and, you know, I've got a, uh, I've got a few projects uh that we're gearing up right now so uh um the more i will have well yeah but follow yeah i'll be able to i'll post on at instagram at just my name jared cone with the number one uh and uh yeah i'll 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 be re 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 dropping some new things i can't really talk about it but uh uh it's there'll be some interesting uh, uh, news updates. I mean, for anyone that's interested, not, not saying it's interesting for everybody, but for me at least. <laughs> no worries. Well, as that comes, and if you and if you want to come back and uh, show us uh, and talk about it, well, I'll definitely give you that love and light to to come back, man. Would love to speak on it, and and for you as well, Jackie. Um, truly you. a pleasure. Uh, I'm excited for the fans and everyone else to see and for you guys, because I wanted to talk more, but then you guys haven't seen it yet. So you got to see it. Um, but please come back. I'd love to have you both um, August 2nd on digital from Uncorked Entertainment, Dawn, and, and you're, it's, it's a ride. And uh, I have them both here. Jared Cohn, Jackie Moore. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. No worries, <laughs> y'all. Kuya P, nerds rule the world. Love y'all. All right. What's up, everybody? It's Jared Cohn from the movie Dawn here representing Nerds Rule the World. I'm with... Jackie Moore, <laughs> very excited to be here and talking about our new film, Dawn, that comes out August 2nd on digital through Uncorked Entertainment. And I'm so excited to be on Nerds Rule the World with Jared Cohn. Tune in and listen, NRW <laughs> for life. Yeah. Hi, this is Jackie Moore and... What's up? It's Jared Cohn here from the movie Dawn on Nerds Rule the World, NRW. Talking about our movie Dawn, which is about a crazed rideshare driver who <laughs> uh, makes her passengers play some crazy games. And it's a horror movie. And I hope you like it. And check it out. Check on it August out. 2nd, August 2nd on digital through Uncorked Entertainment. It's a wild ride, literally. Best movie ever made. You should watch it. Yes.